Now, one of the things that you brought up, I realize, is something that like we've kind of never really discussed in detail um, on this show. Mm. When you said that you're open to giving girls advice on stuff like what's in your girly bag, yeah. So, can you actually talk about that a little yeah. bit? Because I find that when I shoot brand new girls, they don't know anything about like the hygiene yeah. and the douching and all that kind of stuff. So. Just by the way, when she says girly bag, so like uh, sometimes I have to explain adult no, industry lingo because yeah. you forget that people that are listening are not in the yeah. industry. Um, <laughs> so when we say like go do your girly stuff, that basically means like go kind of clean your vagina before you're seen basically mm-hmm. is what it means. And every girl has their own like kind of system that they develop over yep. what works best for them. So what's your system? Um, I My system is I always recommend bringing like your own little like toiletry bag. Mm-hmm. I like, you know, you can go to Victoria's Secret, get one of their little zip up cosmetic bags. Um, well, it's important just to make sure you're clean and fresh and everybody has different levels of that. And most people don't douche in their real lives. Like mm-hmm. a lot of yeah. like normal people don't. You know, you like can't even find douche in Europe. I Yes, yes. When I went to the UK, <laughs> Yeah. to shoot for a they mind geek I asked about it. they were like yeah we have to like search for them and yeah. like find them because what a lot of European performers do is they shower before the scene and yep. then they like stick the shower like nozzle up their vag that's how yeah. they clean themselves they don't use douche yeah so di- it's interesting how it's, it's like a little different intense. yeah from some of them don't use enemas either from what I hear yeah so yeah <laughs> just dep- again it all depends on your preference yeah which is sometimes why we joke around that like the euro guys the guys who come over from uh, Europe and work in the states they're usually like it's it's a cakewalk for them by comparison because yeah. we're usually like ready and yeah. like and they've had to like maybe kind of go through a few things yeah um, but anyway yes girly bag I always recommend girls like bring your own kind of stuff to set you know you never usually know what they have they should always have like the basics like a douche or an enema but I mean hey sometimes, sometimes they don't even have that they don't yeah so keep that in mind like just you know and again you're an independent contractor so some people remind you of that to like have like your kit so what I have to like you know keep myself clean and fresh like you know bring your douches or enemas if you need to if you're doing an anal scene, I recommend those big like red rubber enema bags because like you'll be able to clean yourself out like better and properly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I like eight, for in your douches, always pour out the douche water. Like it's not good for you. Don't drink it. I've heard horror stories of girls drinking it. There's that one, there's that one story, and I swear I don't know if it's a wives' tale or not because it just sounds so ludicrous. But everyone has that story about the girl who drank the douche, and I don't know if it's I've true. Heard a couple people say it. I don't know. I. But yeah, that is one of like those like horror stories that goes around the industry. Yeah, but I'm I so don't it. drink it. Don't basically. don't drink it. Yeah, pour it out, fill it up with water. Uh, some of us use either a little bit of hydrogen peroxide or iodine. I like hydrogen peroxide better because uh, iodine stains a little bit. Really, all that is is just kind of more of an antibacterial. Some people don't like doing that. How much hydrogen peroxide do you put? Into just a the little. Bottles? I so just like, put a little. So like, sorry, people aren't. Some people can, aren't watching. This. I would say only like ten. 15% tops. You don't need a lot like, yeah. and you don't want to like, you know, dry yourself out or irritate right. yourself because you're not really trying to kill all the good bacteria or anything. But I'm just trying to, yeah. I use like, and, and every, like I said, everyone else is different. Yes. For me personally, I actually use a couple drops of tea tree oil Yes, I was going to say that. That's an extra so. thing. Put a couple, not too, I put a couple too many drops in there yeah, before. Yeah, it's a little stingy. <laughs> and, and just smells up the whole room like, yeah. oh, somebody smells like tea tree. Uh, but that's really good uh, to prevent BV and yeast infections. But if you do too much, like you can eat irritate yourself yeah. and that's really to you know uh, prevent like uh, like the basic kind of silly possible infections or just keep yourself clean yeast infections are common in normal women and um, especially if, when you're mixing your pH with a bunch of other people's exactly and depends on what happen. kind of a day it is if it's like a group scene and there's a lot of people touching yeah. each other like keep all that in mind if there's a lot of like in out then you don't want to get just like you know I was thinking if you're touching just anything mm-hmm. you know and then they're putting their fingers inside of you mm-hmm. so you know make sure yeah so I say douche with water hydrogen peroxide slash iodine maybe a couple drops of tea tree oil you don't need to do like a lot of that every single time like Mm -hmm. you shouldn't need to put tea tree oil in every single one of your douches but it's good to do like Every so often. You mean like maybe once a week or something? Yeah, it depends how much you're working for sure. Okay. But like, yeah, I mean like once a week, that's totally, that's, that's great. I mean, again, depends, I don't know your vagina. <laughs> However your vagina works best, that's your vagina. You know, things like baby wipes, they should have that on set. You should have it too. Hippocleans or a variant of Hippocleans. Uh, you can find that at CVS, Walgreens. Hippocleans or a variant of, it's antibacterial body wash, mm. essentially. And if you're having sex in an environment like outside or in a barn or like, you know, any place that seems mildly questionable and you want to like, you know, clean your skin. 
Um, or a couch with ringworm. Exactly. <laughs> we had a ringworm epidemic going oh, on Ringworm this year. gate, 2018. Oh, my God. Oh Everyone my God. was getting ringworm. And everybody who like knew it was from one location, but nobody could figure out what location it was. Mm, well, it was a couple locations, I think. You think so? Well, actually, it makes sense because it probably started at one place and then it got spread exactly. to another. So who and people are just knows? like spreading it around and yeah. not knowing any better. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that on that note, too, like things like hand sanitizer. Like, I mean, you can like honestly anything like... Like sanitary is very important, mm. um, and then things you know like uh, maybe a razor. In case I was just you thinking that a couple spots the razor mouthwash mouthwash is good, especially like legitimate like Listerine antibacterial mm-hmm. mouthwash. Like a lot of girls brush their teeth too, so maybe be, yeah. Some there's a debate on that because brushing your teeth can bust your gums. Oh yeah, good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so if you have to be a little bit careful of like you know uh, you know obviously blood and like but granted everybody should be tested. So knock on wood, everything should be good. But again, these are the small safety precautions. Mm-hmm. Definitely brush your tongue. Yes. You know? So many people don't do that. Mm-hmm. So many people that, don't that do that. Thrush green. That's like, like a big thing. Like brush. A lot of bad breath comes from your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. So brush your tongue, Listerine, uh, deodorants, uh, lotion. Lotion's really important sometimes. Mm-hmm. And there's like little extra things like, you know, shimmers. And if you're doing things like anal, I forgot what they're called, but there's certain kind of creams or pads that like are good for your butthole after mm-hmm. uh, so you don't like uh, you get a little sore yeah because we wouldn't get very sore or like if they actually like, get torn or something like crazy like that you know thing you have to be careful of hemorrhoids or any of that shit mm. knock on wood never had one but I know there's like yeah. there's preventative caution so it really is like just think of it as like if you're going to have sex with like somebody that you really 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 like and you want to make sure yeah. that like they have a great experience so think of it as like your third date prep but but like more so. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.